Okay, so uh, we are starting with the assembly now. Let's go to this PDF. The assembly that is the J section. Here we have the first problem from section J. Let's do this uh, step by step, discuss everything that is needed. Let's zoom it a bit. Okay, so first step is to insert the plier handle base as the base part and use it as origin of the assembly. So let's go to SolidWorks, the new assembly. Okay, so we already have opened this. Uh, you have this uh, zip file in the description, so you can get it from there. So first, we have to get the plier handle base and set it at the base of the assembly on the origin. How can we do that? We can just simply click Enter, and it will automatically align itself uh, with the origin. Now the next step is to insert uh, other components. So let's go to assembly, insert components, plier handle, open. And now uh, I can directly rotate it from here. So I want to rotate about this axis, it is X. So I'll rotate it twice. So it would be in opposite direction. And now I'll insert the other component that is the plier joint. Yeah. Now let's just uh, quickly assemble this. We'll go to mate, uh, cylindrical, just give a concentric mate. Then we may need to make these two surfaces. Done. Now this one, concentric. And surfaces coincident. Done. You don't have to define the means really, but it will just take on itself. It's a smart feature. Okay, so now the assembly is complete. I'll also show you one more thing. Uh, if you go to move component and uh, go to collision detection and uh, select the uh, stop at collision, you can actually move it like this and when there is collision, we'll get to know and it will automatically stop at the collision. So that is a feature you must see. Now let's go to the problem. What we need to do now? We have uh, done this already, uh, all the steps. Now we have to put this angle that is A. First, uh, it is given us 40 degrees. So let's just keep it at 40 degrees. We'll go to mate, this face, and this face. Go to angle and define the angle 40 degrees. Okay, this is done. So according to the problem, we have prepared the assembly. Now let's check the mass of the assembly. The mass properties, here we have the center of mass. So let's check with the answers that is provided at the end of this PDF. Okay, so section J. For the first x, y, and z, we are given these mass. So they are not matching. The reason is the in the PDF it is wrongly printed as mm. It is actually in inches. So how can you check in inches? You can go to these options here, use custom settings, and instead of millimeters, changes to inches. And okay. So now we have in inches. So now let's check the mass x 1.57 that we have y 0.57 that also we have and z 0 so yes this is correct we have got the answer now let's go to the other part of the question part b that is we just have to update the value for the angle that we previously gave 40 now we need to give 80 degrees so let's go to mates angle and added feature here instead of 40 we just have to write 8 and enter okay and okay 
we'll go again to mass properties center of mass check again the values x 1.89 y 0.13 z 0 okay so there we have the answers the first problem is solved in the next video we'll move on to the next question